Hello everybody. Um, as you can see, I just got a new package in the mail. It is from Hidden Treasures, so I'm really excited. Um, I've never tried this company before, uh, so I was really excited to get this in the mail so I could finally give it a try. Um, I have a little setup once again for my candles. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open the package and show you how well it's packaged. And because it's it's very important to me for something to be packaged well, especially something like a candle, which could break or melt or something. You know, disasters could easily happen. Um, so, you know, good packaging is is really good with anything you're going to mail, but especially candles and things like that. Um, I should be able to just pop it open. Hopefully. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Um, okay, we got some packing peanuts. My son ought to love those. Um, if you hear jingling, that is my son in the background. Sorry. Um, he's only six months old, so he still has all his little noise makers. Yes, honey. Um, it's got lots of peanuts, and it is in something similar to what the diamond candle sends theirs in. It's one of those little boxes, you know, that kind of cushions it. Oh, wow, I can actually smell the candle from here. Um, faint, I can only smell it faintly, but I can smell it. Um, alright, let's see, how am I going to... I usually just tear these up, this open. It's just easier for me this way instead of fooling with the glue on the edge. Um, sorry if it's going to be a little clumsy. There we go. I usually just pull the camera out. Sorry for all the topsy turvy there. There we go, I got it. Oop, the lid came off, but that's okay. Um, Alright, so this is. Sorry, that's my hand. <laughs> sorry. Uh, this is my candle, and it has pretty, pretty glitter on the top. It smells very nice. I can smell it from here. It's not overpowering. It's just as if you get a nice whiff of perfume almost. Um, here's the lid. If I can get all the peanuts off of it, it's a little staticky. This is the lid. It's nice and pretty. Now, the, the it is cold because it's sitting in my mailbox for a little bit, so I'm going to let it come to room temp before I light it because I have heard and found for myself that if you light a cold candle, the glass will almost definitely crack. And that is never a good thing. Um, but um, I ordered this off of Hidden Treasure. Um, I don't. They do mark theirs, um, and I can actually see the little foil packet right there. I don't know if you want to see it on camera, but there is a little bit of a foil packet showing through right there. Um, and of course, you know, you have your directions and everything like that. Um, my camera doesn't really... I'm using a different camera than I usually do, so pardon if it's uh, kind of grainy. Um, but um, it's actually coming up to room temp quite quickly. Um, but um, I got the Caribbean coconut. Uh, this is a 20 ounce candle. Um, it was a discontinued candle. So I got it for $19.99 instead of the usual um, $24. Um, so that was that was really nice. Um, I am going to... Yeah, see there you can see a little bit more of the foil right there. Right there. Um, and so it's, it's actually it's really close to the top. I ought to be able to get this out fairly quickly. Um, so I will... Go ahead and light this really quick. Um, let me trim my wick first. Trim my wick. And we'll go ahead and light this. I found my lighter, if you couldn't tell. Last time I used a match. There we go. It is lit. And it looks so pretty. It's got a nice glow to it. And the top just looks so pretty with all the sparkles and the glitter. Um, I once again have my record book, which I'll be writing in shortly. Um, but oh, the scent's already starting to, to waft. It smells so good. Um, I will get back to you when my treasure is ready. I will probably put it on my warmer. So, <laughs> 
but I'll get back to you soon. Hi again, guys. Um, as you can tell, uh, my prize is ready. It's actually really big. I don't know if you can see it completely, but it goes from about right here all the way down to the bottom. Um, I, I guess it must be my warmer. Um, my cat started getting rowdy, so I didn't want it to be lit and possibly catch fire to something, so I just stuck it on my warmer. And I guess this is just what my warmer does with soy candles. Um, I mean, it may have something to do with the fact that you set it down inside the warmer, like it has a little, a little wall. Um, I would get it, but it's hot to the touch, and I really don't want to, you know, I don't want to attempt to accidentally burn anything. Um, but I, I guess that's just what it does with soy candles. Um, not that I mind, um, you know, you see the same amount of wax and everything, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, but it smells absolutely incredible in my house. It smells like Oh god, I mean, this is the most incredible coconut candle I have ever smelled, and I, I'm in love. I, I just, oh god, I love it. Um, as you can see, there's my prize, it's a big one. Um, I don't know if they're all this big, or if I got a necklace or something. But, well, I know I got a necklace, you know, because, you know, that's what they do, but, um, I assume that they're all this big. Um, I am going to go ahead and try to fish it out. Um... You know, with the old spoon method, so let's see if it works. I don't think it's going to want to cooperate. Oh, there it goes, kind of. Whoop. Whoop. I can just kind of get it to flip out a little bit. There we go. And now I'm just going to take my... Because I'm afraid it's going to be hot. I'm just going to take my my clippy and clip it and just kind of you know, let it drip. I don't want to waste any of the swag it smells so good. Um, I'm going to bring it over to my towel. I'm just going to scoop my candle out of the way. Alright. Um, I guess I'll just wipe it off and just I'll cut it open um seems it'd be just be easier that way I'm gonna wipe it. it feels big I wonder what it is I'm really excited so I'm just going to cut this right here and cut it one more time oops got away from me there we go. I'm just gonna wrap it out. Ooh. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, it's one of those. Oh, okay. It's one of those double necklaces. Like it's got the two chains. It's really pretty. It's really long. Um. Let me see. It's a little tangled. Let me. There we go. Perfect. See, it's nice and long. It's very. It's very long and very pretty. Um, whoops, a little tangled there at the bottom. Uh, there we go. Um, it's very long. It's very pretty. Um, I'm going to attempt to look for a marking of some sort. There's so many places it could be. Um, I don't think there is, but it's possible. Either way, it's gorgeous. See, a little cutout, guys. I ended up getting a phone call because I'm on my phone, and it cut it off, so... There's going to be a little inconsistency, but, um, but as you can see, like, right here, it's got these little, they're little rhinestones, and they're green. They're really pretty on the edges of the, of the medallions. Um, it's a very long necklace, as you can tell. Um, it's really pretty. I really like it. Um, I will, uh, post more close-up pictures, um, so it'll be easier for y'all to see. Um, and... Just overall, I I am in love with this company, especially this particular scent, and I really love this necklace. It's really nice. Um, so it's you know a ten out of ten for me. I love it. I just it's incredible. So I will see y'all at my next review. Bye.